Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Mohammed Youssef. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Safriya Palace. The Saudi ambassador to Bahrain, His Royal Highness Prince Sultan bin Ahmed bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, where His Royal Highness handed His Majesty a written letter from the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. The Saudi king highlighted in the letter the strong brotherly ties between the two countries, in addition to the suggestion of His Majesty the King regarding holding an annual summit for the Islamic Cooperation Organization, as well as a number of topics of common interests. His Royal Highness Prince Sultan bin Ahmed conveyed to His Majesty the greetings of the Saudi King and the Saudi Crown Prince, Deputy Prime Minister and Defense Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, and their wishes for further progress and prosperity for the Kingdom of Bahrain. His Majesty asked the Saudi Ambassador to Bahrain to convey his greetings to the Saudi King and Crown Prince and his wishes for further progress and stability for the Saudi people and Saudi Arabia. His Majesty praised the deep historic bilateral ties and cooperation and the mutual keenness of the two sides to further enhance these ties. His Majesty also highlighted the important role of Saudi Arabia in maintaining the security and stability of the region under the leadership of the Saudi King. He praised the Saudi King's wise leadership visions and supporting stances to achieve progress and development as well as peace and justice. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Safriya Palace the new U.S. Naval Forces Central Command and Fifth Fleet Commander, Vice Admiral Samuel J. Paparo. His Majesty the King welcomed Vice Admiral Paparo and congratulated him on assuming his duties, wishing him continued success in achieving security and peace in the region. His Majesty expressed pride in the strategic relations between Bahrain and the U.S. and the close historic ties and allies and partners, noting the continuous development of bilateral cooperation, especially in the military and defense fields. He affirmed that Bahrain-U.S. relations have been based for decades on mutual trust, respect, and keenness to achieve all the goals and interests of the two friendly countries and people. The meeting discussed affairs of common interest in addition to the latest developments in the region. Vice Admiral Paparo commended His Majesty the King's keenness to strengthen friendship ties and military and defense cooperation between the two countries. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, praised a strong start of Paris FC team in the French Football League that was able to achieve victory under the victorious Bahrain logo. His Highness added that this win will motivate the players to achieve further victories in upcoming matches. He said that the European country playing with the victorious Bahrain logo is a sports achievement and gives Bahrain a great role in European football, especially after Bahrain became a sponsor of the team with 20% shares. His Highness added that having victorious Bahrain on the French t-shirt is a great promotion for the kingdom and a way to highlight its sports achievements on the global level, which will lead to achieving the economic vision 2030 of the kingdom under the prosperous era of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. He highlighted that Bahrain is on the march to make further sports achievements as well as promote tourism, which is in line with the economic vision. His Highness wished the team further success. The Minister of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning, Engineer Assam Khalaf, issued edicts to reduce and exempt municipal fees for 164 Bahraini families who live in rentals for July. The Minister said that the Ministry seeks to invest all its capabilities and resources to improve the standards of living for citizens and reduce municipal fees. He added that there is a continuous coordination with the Electricity and Water Authority to amend fees for these families. 
As part of the measures followed to limit the spread of the coronavirus, the Ministry of Health continues conducting random COVID-19 testing through mobile units equipped in accordance with internationally approved medical standards with qualified staff for all citizens and residents around Bahrain. The head of mobile units, Dr. Tagrida Jour, said that the total daily tests might reach 2,300 with 300 to 400 tests in each area. She explained that this random testing aims to monitor the cases with no symptoms in order to speed their recovery and limit the spread they might cause. These campaigns also contribute to raising awareness by communicating with the public and answering their inquiries and reassure the importance of following the precautionary measures such as social distancing and constant hand washing. Dr. Ajur pointed out that their success was the result of the continuous efforts of the team Bahrain as a whole, especially the contributions of the Interior Ministry and Civil Defense to preserve the health and safety of all. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 3,266 with 423 recoveries, 377 registered new cases and three deaths. The ministry announced that out of the new COVID-19 cases, 138 are expatriate workers, 231 are contacts of active cases and eight travel related. The data of the ministry indicated that the tests conducted to detect COVID-19 in the kingdom have reached 1,029,969 tests. The ministry expressed its heartfelt condolences to the families of the deceased and urges everyone to adhere to the rules, follow instructions and avoid public places when possible. Resident representative of the United Nations Development Program to Bahrain, Stefano Pitinato, affirmed the keenness to cooperate with the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs to support the King Hamad Youth Empowerment Award to achieve the Sustainable Development Goals Initiative. He said that the UNDP will always be supportive of youth-related initiatives and pro projects around the world, especially a leading international initiative like the King Hamad Award. He added that the award does not only promote sustainable development goals, but also clearly and tangibly embodies bodies cooperation between the UN agencies as UN officials are juries of the primary award selection. The UN representative explained that what distinguishes this year's edition is the new dimension imposed by the pandemic that requires to review the award creatively since the world now is working on finding solutions and flexible practices to preserve the well-being of humans along with the sustainable development goals.